Hi, I'm Tom Molini. I'm here today in partnership with Figma to show you sticky notes in Figma Fig Jam. So let's say I want to build on this cultural belief in the glory of war. So what I might do is I might navigate lower my Fig Jam and I can go into the toolbar and click and drag a sticky note out or I could just press S to do the same thing and there is my sticky note. Now some features I want to show you include I can resize the sticky note and make it huge bottom right corner and just click and drag. But additionally, I can actually make the sticky note more of a landscape shape. You see that? Yeah, just click the right line there and you can resize that way. That's really nice. With sticky notes, I have an array of colors as you can see. I can then start typing text. So in this case, it would be modern day examples. And I can take that text and I can bold it. I can strike through if something's been crossed off. I can hyperlink. I can start a bulleted list. And additionally, I can format and make that text big, small, whatever it might be. And notice it actually went down longer. So it becomes kind of more of like a portrait kind of uh, sticky note there. Additionally, they default to the showing the author, so you see who wrote the sticky note, but they can be anonymous as well. So I'll just keep that with my name on there. Now, one thing I love about sticky notes is that when you click to the sides and bottom and top, you can build off them and make new sticky notes. I think that is wonderful. So here, if I'm a student and I wanna say, I'm gonna make a modern day connection and, and I'll change the color and I will say flyovers. And then another student comes in and at the bottom they add, and again, we'll make it blue. And they will add call of duty. But then I'm another student and I forget to do the, the plus button to make those connections. And I just start here and I bring it in and I will say bumper stickers. Now, one of the nice things you can do is once you have these sticky notes like that, you can select all of them and you'll notice that you get more buttons here. And in this case, you can change the alignment of them, you can tidy them up, or you can group them so they always move together. If I tidy them up, see that it just tidied them up and it actually put that one off to the side. So that's a really nice feature. And then inside that tidy up, I can click and drag any of them using the little pink dot that shows up. Um, I really should and I will draw a connector between what I want to connect here. So I just connect and bam, really, really nice. And then I see modern day examples and I have modern day examples to the sides and bottom of the sticky note. Um, before I go, I want to thank my partner Figma and give them a little shout out for some great things coming up, including Commons by Figma for Education, a two-day virtual event event August 16th and 17th. Just go to commonsbyfigma.splashthat.com to register for free today. I will drop that in the description. Additionally, get verified for your EDU account at figma.com slash education. If you want to play with sticky notes in a Fig Jam right now, just type figjam.new into your browser. If you have questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.